Hello everyone and welcome back to the weird wacky world of Wobble Dogs, where I truly feel as though science has gone a little bit too far with all of the um, interesting genetic experiments we have been running. But that's okay friends, because here in the Pixel Biology community, sometimes you just have to dive in and see what chaos we can create. And today is going to be a very special day because we do have some puppers to hatch and I have finally figured out how to go ahead Ahead and import new DNA from the many dogs that other people have created. So this is gonna be really exciting. I wanna add on another room. We're going to get like some special puppies over there that will block off and like carefully control the gut bacteria of, and hopefully introduce some brand new genetic genes into our population. Cause so far we still kind of have the basic dogs, but maybe celery and peppermint have really managed to change things. Things. So we're gonna hatch them in just a second. Also, what's going on down here? Vanilla, good job sitting down. All right, and little Vanilla thinks that Vanilla is ready to go ahead and like pupate, but I don't think Vanilla has a lot. White coloration, hmm, glossy sheen. Vanilla doesn't really have a ton of bacteria, just a lot of the neutral bacteria. And I wanted Vanilla to have like something a little bit more Mm, a little bit more dramatic than that. What's in the capsule? Open capsule. <gasps> a cargo crate! Oh my gosh, that sounds so cool. I wonder if it's like something we can decorate with. Oh my goodness. And good job, shake object over there, little mint. Good job, go ahead and eat the food. Mint, you need to come over. And mint, I need you to become green. So I'm gonna have mint try to eat as much. Come on, mint, you can do it. Come, come eat this. Yeah, there we go. Good job, good job eating that food. Oh no, oh, Mint ended up throwing up. Okay, Mint apparently didn't like the alien food, but I really want Mint to become green and that means we need to focus on like, oh, 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 good job, shake it. Good job, shake that little thing. Good job, get the food. All right, let's go ahead and have Mint try to eat the alien food again. Are you gonna do it? No, Mint's just gonna shake it to pieces. But Min is getting really close on like something about, yeah, praise for eating it. Good job. I think we're getting close. Like we're 90% on it being maybe focused on food. So I think we're getting close on Mint and Mint wants to pupate, but like I really want Mint to have some wacky bacteria in here before we do that. Uh, very cool. Cause the bacteria that Mint has right now, <gasps> long ears. I would love to see some more long ears. That would be so fun. Oh geez. Oh, and I really need to give Tiny, oh, Tiny, we're gonna give you a little praise. I don't know what I'm praising, throwing objects. Okay, I need to feed these guys something different. So I really need to give Tiny something new too. Um, I'll go ahead and praise Tiny. There we go. I need to give them something more than like the, the poop. So I'm gonna clean up the poop. Tiny, I'm gonna praise you for that for eating, even though it's poop, as terrible as that is, because it does give Tiny some very unique gut bacteria. You know what? I, I feel really bad that I've been giving Tiny some weird things. So we're gonna give Tiny like moon cheese and let's, let's try that out. We're gonna put some moon cheese in here because I feel badly that I've just been like feeding Tiny dirt and poop for so many years. And unfortunately, I don't think I have a lot of dirt left because not a lot of my dogs are diggers. How you doing down there? How you doing, Crumpet? Crumpet's gonna come back upstairs to see what's going on. So we'll just have to see how that works out. But all right, anyway, got distracted by our dogs, but hopefully things will start to work out well for them. Let's hatch Celery. All right, come on, Celery. <gasps> you guys, yes, Celery is turning into more of a green dog. Oh, I'm so excited about that. Nose and ears are definitely much more green. Leg color, a little more teal. Body color, a little more white. Yes, Celery, I'm so proud of you. Ear length is going up, nose size is going down, and glossiness is apparently really going up due to all of the bacteria that Celery has uh, got in them. All right, Celery, you're doing so good. Look at all that gut bacteria. All right, let's grab this cocoon. And I actually am going to pull this in for Tiny to eat because Tiny really likes eating the cocoons, as weird as that is. Celery, good job, just bouncing. 
Celery's just partying over here. Really cute. Let's see. And then meanwhile, Mint, are you about ready? Mint really wants to pupate, but I'm gonna try to have Mint eat this. Oh, good job. Oh, good job. Shake the object. Go ahead and try to eat this. Well, look, Mint's like almost at 100% with something about food. All right, grabbing object. Oh, baby tooth, baby tooth. Celery, scooch out of the way. I gotta grab this baby tooth. All right, baby tooth, I'm gonna go ahead and feed to the puppy in here. Oops, sorry about that little puppers. I didn't mean to go ahead and wake you up. All right, you, however, vanilla, come eat this baby tooth. Meanwhile, Tiny, I should probably praise you for going ahead and hoarding an object. Oh, that's half eaten food. Tiny, let's not, like, let's not have Mint eat that. All right, meanwhile, man, this is hard to like guide the puppies to do the thing you want them to. All right, come eat the baby tooth. All right, meanwhile, Celery is just like having a grand time. All right, so I'm gonna hatch Peppermint. We'll see how that's gonna go. <gasps> Peppermint, your ears are so red. This is so cool. Okay, so I've gotten very distracted by these guys because it's just so fun to be able to see what your little puppy mutations are doing. But I'm gonna pull in another pupa if I can. Okay, I yeeted this. All right, let's try again. Come on, ah, got it. Oh my goodness, <laughs> Vanilla is pulling on Tiny's leg. Okay, that's fine. All right, you know what you guys, I'm gonna clean up all the poop in here. We're gonna try to make this area a little nicer because I feel bad for how I've been feeding the puppies. All right, hoarding an object. No sharing going on over here. Meanwhile, Mint is also hoarding an object. 100% food! I don't know how that's going to affect Mint, um, but Mint is a little hungry. Let's try to have Mint eat this alien, back alien food. Doing good, I'm so proud of you! Good job, eat! All right, Mint. We'll go ahead, I'm gonna praise you for hoarding the object, and I'm gonna let Mint pupate. There we go. There, good puppers. Okay, gonna just, there we go. Pet the little chrysalis so that we get plenty of mutations. And meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile down here, Vanilla is just like living it up. Vanilla, you're such a weird little pup. I'm gonna have Vanilla come and eat this baby tooth. And we're gonna see what we can do with that. All right, good job, Vanilla. <gasps> good job, Tiny! Praise for laying capsule, heck yeah! We have riverbed carpet now, guys! Oh, that's probably gonna be really awesome. All right, let's go ahead and we're going to feed Vanilla. Vanilla, are you gonna eat that or are you just like, nope, Vanilla's just hoarding it. That's adorable. All right, you know what, Vanilla? I'm gonna have you maybe eat this empty chrysalis and then we'll mutate Vanilla. Meanwhile, Mint is ready to hatch. <gasps> celery, how did you manage to wiggle out of there? Oof, okay, I got Celery back where Celery belongs. Really gotta clean this place up. All right, meanwhile, okay, I'm gonna destroy this. Oh my gosh, I gotta clean a lot of this up. All right, let's go ahead and mutate Vanilla as well. All right, and gotta pet, pet the chrysalis. There we go, mutation chance is now up on that. And look at Celery go! Okay, let's hatch Mint. Are we gonna get more of a green dog? Not really. All right, Mint is now a juvenile. Apparently we're adding gloss to the legs, but otherwise pretty, pretty normal. I'm gonna clean this up. There we go. Wait, Mint, no, oh, okay, drop. Well, I guess I'll praise for eating. Wait, no, don't choke on food. I don't want to praise him for choking on food. Mint, how do I get you to drop it? All right, empty cocoon, got it. This goes in with Tiny, there we go. And I'm gonna clean this place up. And then let's get more alien fruit because I'm trying really hard to get green dogs. So I've just got to keep the alien fruit incoming for these ones to eat. And hopefully it'll just really like get their gut bacteria up and going. Tiny, good, good like bucking in your sleep, I suppose. All right, vanilla's gonna hatch. And, oh, <laughs> the like, chrysalis landed on top of vanilla. All right, so vanilla's body gloss apparently went up, but as you guys see, it doesn't show off a lot right away. 
So I'm hoping by isolating our dogs into these gardens, we'll start to really isolate their genetics and get that bacteria biome. Good job, celery. Get that bacteria biome really going. All right, let's pull in some more food. Oh my gosh, it's Crumpet. All right, Crumpet really loves being long. So I'm actually going to give Crumpet all of the bananas that Crumpet wants. There you go, Crumpet. You are literally our long dog and I, I really love it. Another capsule. <gasps> Bamboo wall, tiny, was that you? I am so, okay, you sneezed. You shook objects. Yes, somebody was digging over here. Oh, tiny, I want you to eat all the dirt actually. That's really important. Tiny, are you hungry? Oh, good. Come eat some dirt clods. You don't want to do that? Yeah, you do, Tiny. There we go. Now Tiny's going to try to eat the dirt clod. This is all fantastic. There's another capsule! Moon carpet! Oh my gosh. Fabulous prizes from opening 10 capsules. Arcade floor. Well, that's really going to match everything. All right. So our puppers are definitely up to an interesting life over here. Tiny, good job. Praise for eating that dirt. I'm so proud of you. You don't want to eat that dirt clump? What about this one? All right, that dirt clump is apparently sus. We don't want to eat that one. But all right, guys, so I got like completely distracted just with our tiny little... Vanilla is so funny because Vanilla just wants to shake all the objects. With our tiny little garden over here that we're trying to do with celery and all the rest. But we actually do have all sorts of amazing big new dogs that we can add in here. And Puppermint, good to see you too. So let's come over. We're going to build. We're going to add another room. We're going to connect the rooms. Right here. And friends, I hope you are ready for a whole new doggy experience. All right, give me just a second. Okay, there we go. No, 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 I don't want to be in here with these dogs. I want to be over here. There we go. For a whole new doggy experience, because this is about to be... Oh, man. Oh, wait. Gold complete out of this world? Really? Decorate a room with space-themed carpeting and wallpaper. A gravity machine? What the heck is a gravity machine? All right, we're going to have some interesting times playing with that. We'll come back to that. I want to come over to this room over here. That's where I want to build. Right over here. No! Oh my gosh. Alright, maybe- Oh, Crumpet! Good job digging! I'm so proud of you for digging. Puppermint, could you come this way so maybe I can, like, get to this room? There we go. And be able to decorate it. Thanks, Puppermint. So we could do, like, moon carpet. Oh, look at this riverbed look, though. I like that. And then let's get the walls going. So it's nice and peaceful in here. See? And this is where we're actually going to introduce some new dogs. So I know we've done a lot of weird things. Prepare yourself, it's probably still gonna be weird. Oh nice, and this little fencing is actually a bit smaller than the other fencing. So you know what, we're just gonna kinda block off the back of this room a little bit. Don't worry about it, there's no reason to like overthink how the puppies are gonna do back here. We're gonna block off the back of this room I'll move this piece so that we can pull dogs in. Um, we're going to put in gravity machine, the power of gravity at your paws. Huh, we'll play with that in a minute. We have spooky food dispenser, jungle food dispenser, space lab food dispenser. I don't have any spooky food yet. Huh. And jungle food. Let's actually review our bacterium. <gasps> we have so many new bacterium. What the heck? Okay, so I know we can give glossy sheens to the dogs with alien fruit. Um, and this floor, we don't know what it does, but it does something with cheese. This one from cheese gives a flat body, what? And then this one from the alien fruit, long ears, tiny nose, green skin, purple body, orange ears and nose, that sounds so cool. And then, oh, if we give them the chicken nuggets, then they become little, <gasps> what? We can make really tiny little dogs. And then droopy face and ham-like body if they eat cheese or the ham. And then if we keep feeding them these teeth, they become glossy sheen and white coloration. And if we feed them the other dogs, they get random mutations. Ah! Oh my goodness. All right, Peppermint, you've got a lot of doggy DNA going on over with you too. But all right, guys, 
We're actually going to end this off with introducing a new dog. I got way distracted today by just the dogs that we have to kind of work with. I'm gonna put the spooky food down just because I'm curious about what it does. Um, we have decorative corn, candied apples, garlic bulbs and gourds. <gasps> Ooh, I think we're gonna have fun with that, but we're gonna have fun with that with a brand new dog. And we're actually gonna go ahead and we're gonna come in here and we're gonna get ourselves a tiny brand new dog by importing a dog. So you actually get unique codes for your dogs so that you could share them with others. So here is a unique code that I found for a tiny dog named Crouton. Look at this puppers. So now in storage, we have this dog named Crouton who happens to have high energy. He's rude, very little consideration for other dogs, unbelievable. And look at him. So this is some a dog that someone has actually bred. <gasps> He's as small as a squirrel. Are you kidding me? I love him. I love him so much and he is going to escape so easily through my little chamber here. He totally is. I probably need to go ahead and just like move the food I want to feed him right in here. But we have tiny little squirrel dog Crouton now. And that just like jumps ahead on so many of our genetics. And so now what we can try to do is to change Crouton the puppy's uh, DNA and mutate him even more. And then when he grows up, we'll be able to go ahead and try to breed more of him. How cool is that? Can I get two croutons? Can I like import? Oh, look, okay, so we're gonna, oh my gosh, science. Science is going so far, you guys. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We're gonna do this. Okay, okay. I'm gonna grab, we've got two croutons. We basically have double trouble croutons now. And we're going to grab these guys and see what happens if we start messing around with their doggy DNA. Oh my gosh. But all right, guys. So thank you so much for joining me on this extremely ridiculously interesting adventure. I still am not 100% sure like what I think about Wobble Dogs, but I'm, I'm kind of falling for it. I'm not gonna lie, kind of falling for it. Meanwhile, Celery is ready to mutate again. And Celery has meant actually chewing on him. Sorry about that, Celery. All right, we'll give you a little pet too. <laughs> but all right, guys, so thank you so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for our little croutons, who I think are freaking adorable. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, be careful what you feed your puppers. And I will see you guys and our tiny little squirrels. <gasps> They're already digging. They're already digging purple lupine flowers. You guys are amazing. Oh my gosh, I'm going to plant those right now and our tiny little purple squirrel dogs next time. Bye-bye!